Hello and welcome. This is another in a series of short videos on Topcon's Pocket 3D presented by the RDOIC Solution Center. We are going to cover the areas of the screen and look at some of the pop-up menus and text. We are going to cover the four general areas of the screen. The header, the main window, the toolbar, and the menu bar. This is the header area of the screen. It has different icons and elements in it depending on the type of data collector that Pocket 3D is installed on. Since the elements change with the type of data collector, we're not going to cover them in this video. This is the main window area of the screen. In this area, you will have the project design or plan with lines, contours, the selected surface, points, scale bar, and north arrow if they are shown. Each of these elements can be toggled on or off from the appropriate menu selection. This area is the toolbar. It consists of two multifunction tool icons and six individual tool icons. This is the connection status indicator tool. It indicates if the data collector is connected to a positioning instrument such as a GPS rover, millimeter GPS rover, LPS, or total station. This is a millimeter GPS status indicator showing connected, and this is a total station status indicator showing connected. If this tool is red and has X's through both of the icons, Pocket 3D is not connected to an instrument. If it has an X through one of the icons, Pocket 3D may be connected to an instrument, but is not ready to work. Tapping the connection status indicator tool will bring up the status information window or connection window depending on the current status of the data collector. The next five tools are used to change the main screen view. These tools are the zoom out, zoom in, zoom to an area, zoom to the previous, and zoom to the extents. The last two tools on the toolbar are the information tool and the pan and select tool. The pan and select tool has three or four modes depending on the connection status of the data collector. Step through the selections by tapping the tool. The modes are auto pan, select, polygon select, and pan. Auto pan will keep the screen centered on the rover. The Select tool allows you to select individual items. Notice that when you hit the Select tool and select an item, the Info button becomes available. So click on the Info tool and you can get the segment and the layer and everything about that. You can save it to a file or return back to your screen by pressing Cancel. You can also select a group of items just like that and you can hit the Info and you will have an enormous amount of information cancel, clear the selection to clear what you have selected, and go to the polygon to select to select an odd shape of an area. And again, select the info to get that if you want it. The pan tool allows you to move around the map, and the auto pan will keep you centered on the map. Next is the menu bar. It contains the setup menu, the data menu, the survey menu, and the display menu. We'll cover each of these in separate videos. One more item to discuss in this video is the pop-up menu. So if you press and hold anywhere on the screen, you will get the pop-up menu. If you are in the select and you press on a line, you will select that line and not get the pop-up window until you press and hold. So you may want to change your mode to auto pan or to pan and then when you press an area over a line it won't select it. So within this menu there are several different things. You can work on a segment or you can work on a surface. You can do several different things, but we're going to clear the selection. The last thing we're going to discuss real quick on this menu is the move here. This is only in the simulator. So we're going to clear the selection here. One more item is if we press and hold here you'll see a show text which only appears when you press and hold just above the status tool. If you press over here, it goes away. Again, the move here is only available when you are in the simulator.